Hello and welcome to Mumblecast. Why did I pause there? I have no idea. Uh, I'm Liam. And I'm Kayla. And we are carrying on this week with our fantastic series, The Mumble Rumble. So Kayla, bring us up to date. What's happened so far? Well, so far we have had Voldemort against Regina George, where Voldemort kicked Regina George's ass. And then... Shouldn't have happened. Shouldn't have happened. Regina George is so much more evil. But anyway, carry on. And then the Joker beat Maleficent. Mm-hmm, fair. And sort of. T-1000 beat Darth Vader. Yes. A couple of things I'm sure people won't agree with. As you said, Melissa turns into a dragon, so how the hell Joker beat her, we don't know. And Darth Vader, seriously. But anyway, okay, cool. Machines. So today, who have we got today? Who are you fighting on the side of today? Oh, we should mention, actually, Drake is no longer with us. He's not died. <laughs> He's just no longer with us. <laughs> Uh, so we will just be me versus Kayla and we're going to leave the decision up to the listeners for uh, who goes on to the next round. Isn't that right? Yep. So vote people. Yep. Yeah. Vote. Instagram, Twitter. Do we have anything else? Mm. Our website, even though you can't really access it. Yes. I need to get on that at some point. At some point I'll get on that. Okay. So, yeah. So who are you fighting with? This week I will be fighting with the Wicked Witch. The Wicked Witch. That's the Wicked Witch of Oz Wicked Witch? Yes. What's her name again? Delphi or something. Elphaba. But that's only from Wicked. Elphaba. I'm going to be oh, doing yeah. the Wizard of Oz version. Oh, so she's not actually called Elphaba in Mm-mm. The Wizard of Oz. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh. Okay, I just thought it was uh, both. And I will be fighting or arguing the site of Hannibal Lecter from Science of the Lambs and Hannibal and Red Dragon and a couple of other TV shows and stuff. All right, who's going first? Scissor Stone Paper? Yes. All right, you guys can't see this, but we'll shout out what we're doing at the same time as well. One, two, three. Paper. I did scissors. Oh, you went scissors. So yeah. you win anyway. So does that mean you get go first or second? I'll go first. Okay. All right. So Wicked Witch. I would say her evil rating. Oh, quickly. We should yes. mention. What are the five ratings? Evil villain rating. Motivation. Fighting ability. Durability. And X factor. X factor. Okay, excellent. Yes. Okay, so we're starting off. All right. Wicked Witch, evilness. Evil villain rating, I would say, is a solid seven. Solid seven. Out of ten, ten yes. being the most evil thing alive. Yes, we said... One being slightly evil. Yes. I think last time, or in the first one, we said ten was like Satan. And okay. one was like, I think I said a gremlin. I don't remember. I think you did say gremlin, actually, yeah. <laughs> so I think she's a seven. Okay. A seven. Now, why do you say she's a seven? Because... She, I mean, she's evil enough to try to, like, take on a fight with, like, a 14-year-old girl over a pair of shoes. Right. But does that make her evil? Like, was she evil prior to that? Yes. How was she evil prior to that? Her name's Wicked. She's a little bit nasty. Maybe a little bit wicked, but yeah. not evil. She's very evil, so... Has she killed anyone? I'm not sure. Has Dorothy killed anyone? Yes. <laughs> okay. That's because... So, so far, in your movie, the the, most, the villain's not even the worst person. <laughs> but the Wicked Witch has tried to kill Dorothy. Dorothy just had a lot of people trying to help her. This is true. But what else has she done that she's evil? I'm trying to think. I don't think she's done anything evil. Well, so we don't really know very much of her backstory prior to Dorothy being introduced to the story. We yeah. just know that just the Munchkins are terrified of her. So she has to do like something to make them that scared. That's true. And they're kind of small, so they probably get eaten by something. Her flying monkeys. That she sets upon them. Okay, so she's sort of evil. Not like outgoingly evil, just kind of evil if you get in her way. Mm. She she <laughs> wants power. That's So her motivation is... Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's stick with evilness at the moment. Because I've got Hannibal's evilness, and that's, that's so okay. evil. Okay. I don't know how to go into it without talking about her motivation, though. So go, you go ahead. Okay, well, let, let me talk about Hannibal's evil. So I've got Hannibal Lecter, who is, I think it would probably be said, is one of the kind of most sinister uh, villains of all movie times. There's very few people that talk about movie villains and don't put Hannibal Lecter like, up there, and not only in like scary factor, but like cold, calculating mm-hmm. evil. You know, his only motivation is to mess with people's heads and eventually <laughs> eat them. You know, how, how how much more evil can you get than someone who's who, who plays with his food and then eats it. And that food happens to be human beings. I mean, that's evil beyond anything we've actually talked about so far. 
Let's see, Voldemort just wanted to kill muggles. That's fair. We're all awful anyway. T-1000 was Skynet, so he was programmed to do it. Who won the last one? The Joker. He just wants to be evil for the sake of it. This guy actually wants to eat shit. Eat your brains and your toes and your liver. And he'll go out his way to mess with you beforehand. Trick you and make you, you know, either fall in love with him or idolise him. And, uh, yeah, he's pretty evil. And he does that from behind a cell, even better. Would we call a lion evil for playing with its food and eating it? No, but a lion's food is what it needs to sustain itself. And it's like a natural circle of life where Hannibal is going away from the circle of life and just like deciding to eat his but own. But maybe that's just the kind of substance he likes. It is a substance he likes, but it's not what he needs. And going by evil is something humans have created due to our consciousness of what's right and wrong, he is doing everything that we consider to be wrong by manipulating, lying, uh, coveting some people in some senses, when it's uh, the women, and then eating them. Fair enough. What what do you think his evil rating is? Hmm. Well, if the Wicked Witch is a seven, he has to be at least like a eight and a half to nine. He's not quite Satan level, because he does love and take care of people like Clarice, you know, so he doesn't kill mm-hmm. everyone he meets. And, you know, he does show some passion and consideration, but he does still eat people, so... Eight nine, and a half. Eight and a half. All right. Eight and a half. In my view. Unless you can come up with some reason why I'm I think that he just wrong. enjoys a nice good steak of, I don't know, body. <laughs> <laughs> steak of body. <laughs> well, I, I don't deny, I think he does. But it's the fact that he has to kill or befriend trick and then kill that person to enjoy that steak. I'm not saying it's the cut of meat that I would choose, but I mean, <laughs> we're really just calling a guy evil for what he likes to eat. Well, he also murders people. To eat them. The the lion murders the zebra to eat it. Yeah, but the lion also sometimes murders its own cubs and we do consider that a little bit evil. Okay. All right, let's talk about their motivation for what they're... Okay. For why, and then we'll see if if he's just hungry. Yeah. Listeners, uh, I don't want to sway the vote, but I think we know who's in the lead. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't know about that. Would you like to go first with motivation? Right. So my motivation is not quite as extensive as some. Yeah, it did initially begin that Hannibal was born in Lithuania, in like the early ninth or the nineteen thirties or something, and he, during the the Second World War, he had to flee um, from Lithuania, and he actually ended up uh, running to a bunch of Russians who were keeping them hostage, and then they were deserted and ran out of food, and eventually those people ended up eating his sister. So it ended up being that it was him getting revenge for people eating his sister. He went out to eat them. Mm. And then, so his main motivation was the death of his sister from these, I think it was Russians, and therefore he went out for revenge and ate them and killed them and then just kind of went on a rampage from then and eventually realised he, he, he acquired a taste for it, to put it mm-hmm. in any which way. And then he just continued from there. And I think that was the main reason. There may have been some other romantic things that unfortunately led to more torture in his brain which caused him to kill more people but yeah primarily i believe it was a uh, the killing of his sister which is that's that's pretty up there in the way of motivation mm-hmm. someone watching someone eat your sister don't know why he messes around with people nowadays but yeah he's just hungry i guess yeah he just likes the taste now yeah so what's your motivation it's an... actually your motivation is pretty similar i think <laughs> very similar okay so from the wizard of oz movie we don't have very much prior to Dorothy coming to know what her motivation was. So if you kind of pull from other books and other sources of the Wicked Witch, you can kind of create a little bit of a picture. In Wicked, she was trying to protect animal rights, and that backfired. That's in the musical. In the book, um, she, the guy she loved was murdered, and that kind of led her to this downfall. But ultimately, it was something big happened. We're not really sure what in The Wizard of Oz and that made her, like, that That led to her downfall. And then she just wanted power to avenge whatever it was that happened in that particular one. 
in mm-hmm. in the Wizard of Oz, once Dorothy came, she her sister had these this pair of red ruby red slippers that were all powerful. And when Dorothy came and dropped the house on her sister and killed her, so the wish of the East was it? Yes. Okay. Um, so she wanted revenge for her sister's death, just like Hannibal, and she also wanted to get back the ruby red slippers from Dorothy. So, so what what was the main motivation of the ruby red shoes or silver as we spoke about in, in from the book as mm-hmm. we discovered or the killing of the sister? The slippers because she wants power. So her main motivation is power. So our main motivation is a pair of shoes that are all powerful. It's like having a wand or a something. It's they're just it's the power of the shoes. It's not really the shoes. Okay, so our main motivation is to be more powerful than essentially already the most powerful witch. Is she the most powerful witch? Um, I think Glinda might be uh, a little more powerful. Well, I don't know if she's more powerful, but they definitely, those two head off, and the shoes would give her the edge over over her. Who does she want more power, then? Glinda. Glinda, not the Wizard of Oz. Ooh, possibly also the Wizard of Oz. But but we, but we find out the Wizard of Oz got no power. Exactly. So really, it's the Wicked Witch is an idiot <laughs> for falling for it. If a little girl from Kansas can figure it out. Just saying. Just throwing it out there. Uh-huh. So when it comes to motivation, you're saying your motivation is a powerful pair of shoes. Yes. And also Shine, revenge. Shiny. And revenge. Yes. See, that's pretty good, because all I've got is revenge for someone eating your sister. Which, which is, is also good, good. That's but... pretty solid revenge. Yeah. He does go out and, uh, you know, eventually kills everybody involved in that. I mean, does the Wicked Witch? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, yeah. she definitely makes this little girl's life hell along the way. That's true. And I think if she didn't have as much help as she did from certain characters mm-hmm. or a bucket of, mm, um, then it would have been gone down differently. That's mm-hmm. true. I agree. Yeah. Okay. So motivation. We're maybe tied. We'll see. Yeah. We'll let the viewers decide. Yeah. What's next on our list? Fighting skills. Mm-hmm. Or fighting ability. All right. Well, I'll go first again. Okay. Just because I feel like you might have an upper hand here slightly. But, Just a little bit. So, if we're going by modern day Hannibal, and going by his birthday in 1933, he is 85 years old. Mm-hmm. But I think we'll go for, like, just past prime Science of the Lambs Hannibal. Because that's the most popular one. It's the one we know him. We'll introduce him first, kind of. So we'll go with that. He's He's got a vast genius level intelligence, which... Is maybe should be kept for his X Factor, but I think that adds to his fighting ability so he can assess the situation very quickly and use what he needs to to, to make or win or get the upper hand. Mm-hmm. He is very intimidating, very scary. Well, you got a witch though, so I can't really use that. <laughs> He's got great murder skills. He spent a time as a surgeon or a doctor. So he knows exactly where in the body and he's very precise in his killing. He'll make sure that knife goes in exactly where it needs to go and kill you in the quickest, most efficient way possible. He's got extensive knowledge of food and art. Not really helpful. He's got inhuman strength or un- superhuman strength. Not quite superhuman, but pretty good strength. Um, he's a good cook. Don't think that means much, but he does. But his main thing is his knowledge of psychology and his genius level intellect he can use to manipulate and control and confuse his victims which is okay. pretty good when it comes to well when it comes to fighting skills yeah if you can get that behind by chatting to them do you have to fight them yeah i don't think i've got very good so he talks a good talk he talks a great talk and then if he's close enough he can fight a very quick efficient fight okay yeah so that's what i'm going with he's it's good with a knife bit. He's good with a knife and he, he'll chat you out or something, maybe. I don't know how that would help him against a witch, though. He would just say, hey, witch, why are you evil? And she'd say, like, I think it's because you had trauma on your child. Your sister stole your nice shoes. And then from there on, you've just hated life. And then she'd break down to tears. And then her tears are so wet, she'd cry and die. <laughs> just put it out there. It could happen. I'm not really sure that's what's happening. That's what's going to happen. All right. Actually, I think I think the story of her is that she's the reason she's green and like frail is because she's got no liquid in her body. I think that's just the spell okay. of the magic that's on her. But anyway, carry on. So she can cry. But Maybe anyway. she can't cry. Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, okay, so look at Witch's fighting ability. She can teleport and fly. So if she needs to escape quickly, hmm. she can teleport, but also she can fly wherever she wants to go. Um, Why would you fly if you could teleport? Well, what if your broom was like on the other side of the room and somebody's coming at you with a knife and they're very precise in their cutting movements, so you teleport. Oh, so she needs a broom to fly? Yes, she needs a broom to fly, but to teleport she does not have to have it. Okay, so we're basing this off the, the movie version. Yeah. You said, yeah. Okay, cool. Okay. That's, um, that's, that's, that's pretty powerful. Yeah. She can throw fireballs with her hands. Shit, okay, yeah, that's good. That's, that's, that's pretty strong. Yeah. Um, and if we're including Wicked too, it doesn't, we don't really know in, in Wizard of Oz if she, like, it can do sorcery or whatever, but in everything else she can. Um, so I'm assuming that it carried over. She's a witch, so... She probably can do some kind of spells. Yeah, we don't really know, does she? Can we? Mm-mm. And I guess she has that big glass ball. Yes, she has a crystal I don't know if you're too. saving that or not. That was part of my X Factor, but okay. Okay, we'll, we'll take that out. Cut that. Okay, but can she fight? Um, she looks pretty frail. Maybe not hand to hand combat, but if somebody's coming at her, it's going to hit her, she could throw a fireball at them. That's true. And Hannah was probably not very fast. But could she? But she likes to talk. She does Remember, like to talk. When she caught Dorothy, she like, natted away. And yeah. that's, that's exactly when Cannibal would get in her head. He might be able to get in her head, but then anytime he comes close to her, she's just going to throw a fireball at him or disappear. But not if he, like, did she know he's evil from the beginning? He's got a very suave look to him and he chats a good chat, so maybe he doesn't know. He gets under the skin before. It's her like, skin's oh, green and thick, hey, you can't get under it. Hey, Adelphi, or whatever her name was, I forget again. Um, <laughs> Elphaba, I'm a, I'm a well-educated old man. You're an old woman who's probably got an education. You want to hang out? Um, not that she tastes very nice, if you're thinking about it. Yeah, he might not choose to eat her anyway. But I don't think she's going to... I don't. I feel like her trust... She's got some trust issues, so I don't know if she's going to like let him get close anyway. That's probably true. And I'm just thinking about... I think when I mentioned that she doesn't have any blood, that probably doesn't mean she's got very good meat. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, well, if he gets close, she's toast. Getting close is the issue. Yes. She's a, she's, she seems to be a range attacker. But and if he gets teleport. close, she can just burn him. But I think he would fight through it and stab her still. And then the, the flames would go away. Fight through the fire? Fight through the fire. If he got close enough. I think. He's cannibal. He's I cannibal. Think, the cannibal. I think Come her on, fighting he, he, ability he, might be better. He fought through the bloody Nazis to get back to you know, thing his sister. And he got out of the FBI's restraints, killed a bunch of people. But were they throwing fire at him? And if he got close, she could just <laughs> leave. That's true, they weren't attacking him, okay. Oh yeah, they can teleport. Yeah. Does she need a wand or uh, hands, or does she just teleport? I have no idea. It doesn't show. In the Hopefully movies, it gone. never, it was just like, smoke, I'm out. Okay. Alright, well, listeners, you can decide who's who's got better fighting abilities. I know what I'd choose. Look at my <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Alright, the last one. No, second last one. Endurance. Durability. Durability, sorry. So, I'm just going to attack you from this. I think your durability is pretty poor. You're a feral old creep. Yes, you can teleport away. And yes, you've got fireballs for hands. And yes, you've got a crystal ball. But if there's a little bit too much moisture in the air, or if there's a little bit of rain and you don't have a brolly, or... If I sneeze, a very disgusting sneeze, is a good chance you are melting. And that's like the most undurable thing in the world. So, yes. The Wicked Witch struggles durability-wise with water. Which Mm -hmm. is very prevalent. But she's managed to avoid it up until this point. And you, you just don't go to places where there's large bodies of water. And you avoid children that have buckets of water. And you're good. But I think Hannibal's smart enough to figure that out. And then I think he... You may have fire for hands, but he'd carry around a super soaker or something. And he'd pump it up. And go... And she'd be gone. He doesn't need a bucket. Or, like, he'd have one of those... Oh, this is what he'd have. He'd have a bloody... Uh, a flower on his lapel. Mm-hmm. He'd be like, oh, hey, Delphi. Elphaba. Elphaba, smell my flower. And he'd go... Squirt her in the face. And then she'd melt because he's suave and sophisticated, and that's what he'd do. If Alpha would just burned his hands off, he would not be able to do anything. He couldn't cut. How, 
but how far can she throw the fire? Because she's pretty frail. Is it just like a, uh. I think they like shoot out of her hands. It's like Lisa. Did you ever see, see Lisa from The Simpsons throw a ball? I did not. It was like he, she threw it, and then Nelson went, "Ha ha! You throw like a girl." And she's like, "I am a girl." And then he was like, "Oh, yeah." They were really bad impressions of both Lisa and Nelson, but you get the drift. That's a good episode. Cannot remember what episode it was in, but I remember it. I've never seen. Anyway, it. no. Okay. Does she throw like that? No, she actually like can project them. Oh, okay. Well, I still think I still think if he had if he had investigated her, which he probably would, because he's he's smart like that. He would um, come with a super soaker filled, or just spit on her. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I think that I think she's pretty durable, other than the water thing, and I think that she could easily avoid it through teleportation. Okay, fair enough. I will leave that up to the the listeners. But I think. Oh, I'm not. It's, my durability is yeah, what he's just. He's just a dude, to be honest. He's just a a slightly elderly gentleman, who's pretty strong and very calculating. And who's not afraid to use his teeth to win a fight. But other than that, I don't have too much more, if I'm honest. So if a, a, if a witch threw a fireball at him, he could potentially just die. Potentially. We understand. He could potentially not die as well, so he could avoid it. He, he's, 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 he's got some maneuverability, probably. And you know maybe she has to like, in, encant it before she throws it, so maybe he can see it and run away. Maybe. Know. So, yeah, listeners, let us know. Put that tally mark in whoever you think is right, Hannibal. Mm-hmm. Um, all right, the last one, X Factor. Hit us with X Factor. Who's winning this? All right, so not only is the Wicked Witch able to... Well, she has a really good motivation um, of wanting to be all-powerful and to revenge her sister's death. She can fly, she can teleport, she can throw fire out of her hands. But... She also has this crystal ball where she can see everything throughout the whole land. So if Hannibal were coming to attack her, she could see it and prepare ahead of time. And so that gives her a heads up over all of this. But does she have to look for that specific thing? Uh, I'm not sure. But she could. maybe it could be like, I'm like looking for anybody who is going to hurt me. And he would pop up. I'm not really sure how the crystal ball works. But once she does find it, she also has these flying monkeys who her, are her little minions who can come and attack him. Hmm. But how smart are the monkeys? Could be outsmarted by a very smart man. Probably. But if she says, go attack this man, and he's walking, trying to come get to her, and they fly up behind him and just grab him, what are you going to do? He's going to stab him. Pew, pew, pew. Not if they have each of his arms. He'll bite them. Um, he's good at biting. He is. I don't know. I think the monkeys how, are... How, how many How many monkeys does she have? I don't know. Like definitely, two? Definitely more than two. Hmm. Okay, that makes it difficult. Yeah. If she had two, I could take two, I think. I don't know if I could take more than two flying monkeys. It'd be hard. Flying monkeys holding you while, I thro- while, while she throws fireballs. Hmm. I'm trying to think of what my X Factor is. Mm-hmm. I don't really have an X Factor. I just have the fact that I'm really freaking evil and super smart and calculating. Yeah, <laughs> I think, yeah, I think we I think we maybe underestimated his intelligence so far, and I think he could maybe plan out a way to get close to her, without her realizing he was evil, and he would then eat her, and then spit her out because she doesn't taste nice. Ah, but he wouldn't want to eat her. No. And then what's his motivation for killing if it's not eating? To outsmart someone who thinks they are smarter than him. That is a big motivation for him. He wants to be the smartest man in the room. Well, she wants to be the most powerful, so maybe they would just team up. Oh, they probably could team up. Yeah, because like, the monkeys just, could just bring him humans to eat. Mm-hmm. But he wouldn't like that. He wouldn't like someone to be more powerful than him, I don't think. He'd end up wanting to kill them as well, I think. Yeah, they'd end up killing each other. Well, she'd end up killing him. Nope. Nope, he'd end up killing her first. 100%. I'm telling you, he's going to stab her. He's going to He's gonna wet her. He's going to trick her. He's going to drop a house on her. He's going to do something. She's just going to burn him with fire or have her monkeys <laughs> dismember him. Damn, all these witches have so many good powers. <laughs> just burn him with fire. That's the easiest one. You don't have to do anything. You just sit back and watch it burn. My final statement is the Wicked Witch of the West is only a little bit wicked. Uh, Hannibal is a true evil person being tormented from a young age and wants to destroy everyone and show his superiority and he will eat you. That's it. 
that wasn't a very good climax, I know, but that's all I got. Whereas the Wicked Witch can actually do things and has <laughs> about an equal motivation, but can fight. She can't fight, but she's got fire and monkeys. And fire, monkeys, electricity, teleportation, but really susceptible to rain. Yes. All right. Well, I'd be very interested to see how this goes. Me too. Um, I think Hannibal's got a good shot, but the Wicked Witch has got some pretty impressive powers. Um, so, listeners, let us know. <gasps> you know what we didn't do? Let's get ready to mumble rumble. Oh no! Oh, let's do it now. Should we do it now? <laughs> Three, two, one. Let's, let's get, get ready, ready to, to mumble rumble. rumble. I said rumble mumble. That was wrong. Oh, well, I might just leave us it all together. <laughs> I think we missed it on the last two, two as well. Um, but yeah, listeners, let us know. Either through Twitter or Instagram, preferably through Instagram. Send us a picture of who you think should win. Tag us in it at, at the Mumblecast. Or tag me specifically in Devil's Mail. Or Kayla, who's at... Kayla0134. 1134. 0134. 0, no idea why those numbers. I'm sure she would tell you at some point in her life. Maybe because she's 134 years old. That's exactly um, it. That's exactly it. All right, cool. Well, in that case, I've been Liam. I'm Kayla. And this has been Mumblecast. Bye. Bye.